Hi, so I'm on my way to pick up a canary. Uh, somebody just dropped this canary off on on a porch of a facility. Like I believe it might be an old age home. Uh, we're going there to see it. We should be there in a few minutes. And they didn't want the canary. They have no idea how to care for this canary. I'm just really happy that this person who who dropped the canary off didn't, you know, let it loose outside or drop it off somewhere in the middle of the street or dump it in the garbage so i guess they figured that they wanted this canary but they didn't and anyways i'm going to get it and uh hopefully it's healthy and i'm going to show you what it looks like i believe it's a male because they said it's been uh singing singing a lot so anyways we'll see so we're looking for the facility it's a nice little area do you see it That'd there it fun. is here he is. Look how pretty he is. He looks like a little mosaic. Um, just like my canary, Sherbert. And um, he's probably male. I gotta hear him sing, but he did do some notes as I was carrying him outside. And it was a retirement home. But his feet, they look a little bit like he's on the older side. I have to take care of his feet. You can't really see there's like let me see, there they are. Yeah, see a little bit of build up on his feet. So I'm going to have to take care of that, fix his feet up. So he could be an older bird because if he was young, he wouldn't really have that problem. Um, <laughs> anyways, he's pretty. Look at that. And there he goes. Beautiful. And all the people that were in there, they really liked him and everything, but they couldn't, you know, let him fly around or anything because it is a retirement home. And um, <laughs> yeah, they couldn't keep him. Wow, you're so pretty. He's home. So here he is. Uh, this is the cage that he was uh, dropped off in at the retirement home. It's really small. It's only like 13 across, 13 like inches and 10 inches deep and 16 inches high, which is very, very small. Um, the poor little birdie can't even fly. He can just hop back and forth. And you can see the perches. They're both plastic which isn't ideal for, for birds and their feet. He had a like a water silo um, and dish back there. And he had a bowl of budgie seed. And this was for water. I had to dump it out. I just cleaned the bottom of his cage because it was wet from the water dripping and from his droppings. But So the retirement home didn't know what he was. They thought he was a budgie. Um, they've never had birds before, so they have no idea. At least they tried, and they tried you know, to get him some kind of food. He had something to eat. So I'm going to be switching his diet. And he just had, um, I guess the swing was in there and this bowl, which is dirty. Looks like there was water in there from the water staining. So I did notice that he has a band on his leg. Let me see if you can. Yeah, so he has a band. So I took him out of the cage and I looked at the band and it looks like he was um, hatched in 2019 because the last two letters on the band is 19 and he was banded with the Canadian Association of Colorbred Canaries and that's the band my other canary has on um, Sherbert and the last two numbers are the year so I am assuming that he was hatched in 2019 and so I guess he's around three so he's not as old as I thought I just noticed his feet has a little you know build up there I'm going to be taking him out and try to you know fix up his feet because canaries are prone to getting um, a build up of carotene on their feet it doesn't look like mites but he's pretty active looks pretty healthy otherwise so I got to get him out of this cage. I'll put him in a little bit of a bigger cage. I do have to quarantine him for at least a month to make sure he's okay. So he will stay on my lower level away from my other birds. And um, yeah, I can't wait to hear him sing. It's going to sound so pretty. So I got notified uh, by someone I know that this canary was uh, looking for a home. She was actually the person that... Um, 
Do you remember uh, my two budgies, Thunder and Lightning, the ones that I got that were living outside that nobody claimed? Um, I went to help them catch those budgies. I hung out with her, you know, for the day to try to catch those budgies. Anyway, it was her that recommended me to come and pick up the canary because she knows how well I take care of my birds and they'll have a good life and he'll have other birdie friends to hang out with and be flying um, during the day and not stuck in this little tiny cage. I'm just wondering if he was always living in this cage. I don't even know if he can really fly um, because if they've been stuck in a cage for this long, Sometimes they don't have the, the flight muscles to actually fly like far, far or high up or around the room. So um, I guess I'll find that out when I try to let him uh, loose in the bird room. Or maybe I'll even try down here, but there's a lot of places he can get stuck in and, um, you know, I don't want him getting hurt. And so I'm anxious to see if he can actually fly. And um, yeah, so I know many people, not many people, but some people will get a canary and just get a cage like this and keep them in there and never let them out. It's kind of um, it's kind of cruel. They need space. They need to fly too, just like any other bird. You can see how very active they are. And even the, the perch that he's sitting on now, like the back perch, when he sits there, his tail hits the back of the um, the cage. I'm surprised his tail isn't more, you know, ratty. But I'll give him a little bit bigger cage so that his tail won't hit the bars and he can actually fly back and forth. But isn't he beautiful? Okay, so I just went to dump out the seed to give them like canary seed and, you know, fresh greens and all that. And look, it looks like the, the bowl hasn't been cleaned forever. This doesn't even like move. It looks like mold back there. So I'm going to clean that out and give them all new, fresh, clean everything. And this is his temporary quarantine cage. It's much bigger than the one he was in. It's 26 inches across by I believe 14 deep and 23 inches high. He has a little bit more space in there now. His tail won't hit the bars, but I've given him some natural perches. This this one on this side is a little bit you know wider than this one for his feet. And then I put this one in, which is a little bit thinner, it has two little branches here. So I did hook up a piece of romaine lettuce. I gave him a white cuddle bone. The males really don't, you know, use the cuddle bone or need it too much. Um, he's got some water. I gave him a shredding toy, which all my canaries always love. They love to pull on that. And a little piece of <laughs> spray millet for comfort food, just to make him feel comfortable. And then I put a bowl of chop mixed, um, mixed in with, uh, sprouted like seeds and grains and agglooms. He's got some pea shoots there and parsley flakes. And there's some, some blueberries in there. I cut them up, they're pretty small. And uh, pomegranate, pomegranate seeds. So we'll see if he likes that. Then I gave him a little bit, a clean bowl, a little bit of canary seeds and a little bit of some pellets. So I'm curious to what he is going to go for and what he likes to eat. You know, I always wonder if did he even get any fresh foods? We don't know, but hopefully he'll eat this. So I'm going to put him in there and see what he does. He is in. He went in pretty good. I just put his cage um, against this cage with the doors open and I removed his perches and he flew right in. So he's going to check everything out and then let's see what he goes to eat. And also, I am going to hook up this bird bath. Maybe he'll take a bath. Alright, so the bird bath only fits on the door. <laughs> on the food door, I had to take away his pellets for now. I'll put those back in later. Um, as the, the main door was too wide for that, he can just, just sneak out of there. So, let's see what he does. He's eating the spray millet. He seems excited and he's looking down below, so I think he's going to go down there really soon. I think he wants a bath. He keeps doing like a little shake like he wants to take a bath. He's looking down. I think he'll go down soon. Now I'm standing across the room and I have my camera zoomed. Oh look, he touched a toy. So he doesn't, you know, do anything when I'm up close. But I'm sure if I left the room he would do all kinds of things because he could still see me. So I'm not going to talk. He's 
going for the greens. I'm going to add another perch on the other side, like right um, over here and just in front of the bird bath because I think he just it would be easier for when he flies from up there to land down below and a flat perch as well so he can rest his feet. There's no grate on the bottom of the cage, it's just um, the tray with paper towel. So I'm curious if he'll go down and eat that chop mix. Alright, so I took his plastic perch from his cage and I put it right here, just in front of the bird bath. Um, just to see if he'll come down and jump on that and go in the bird bath, because I think he's trying to figure out how to get down there. I know he wants a bath. He was trying to bathe in his um, little water, water bowl up top. And then he keeps checking the one out at the bottom. So I'm sure he's going to go in soon. I moved his cage to where he's going to stay. Oasis, he wanted to be in the video. Hello, baby. Are you good boy? You helping mommy? He's so cute. Yeah, so he's going to stay in this room right here uh, where my fish tanks are and my rabbit. And um, you can see my angelfish right over there. That's Buddy. There's some Cory catfishes there. And I have a betta fish up there, beta, beta, however you say it. So that's where I usually quarantine my birds, is right here or down there or in another room over there. But for now, he'll be right here. And he still hasn't taken a bath, but I know he wants one. I'm sure as soon as I walk away, he will take a bath. And well, hopefully I can get that on film, but it doesn't look like he's going in there anytime soon. But make sure you stay tuned for more videos of, of my canary. I gotta think of a name. A name that starts with the letter S and I can't wait for his quarantine to be over so I can let him fly in the bird room. I'm just curious if he can fly very well at all. If he even has flown before, I don't, I really don't know. I just wish that people that, you know, dropped off pets at places like this would write more information about their pet, you know, the age especially, the name, you know, what it was eating, what it likes to eat, what it doesn't like to eat. If it, You know, if they know if it's a male or female, but I know he's a male probably. And um, he's going to start singing. But yeah, if you ever do that, you know, just don't drop off animals at a place that you assume they're going to take. But at least they didn't drop, you know, let it loose outside or put it somewhere where nobody would find it. So they had good intentions. They probably just didn't know what to do with the bird. Um, oh, maybe he's going to go in the bath. Yeah. So anyways, I'm glad he's safe and he's he's uh, looking pretty good. He doesn't look like he was neglected or anything. He's getting excited. Beautiful.